You got some, I think you got a little, little alien in there. Look, it's a congreal. That's a congreal. That's what it is? Yep. Bearded brotara. That's what we were looking for. That we got that backwards though. We needed one of these with a baby one of these in his mouth. <laughs> So we're gonna drop some jigs. We've been out here throwing the hard baits. It's the middle of the day. They're not real into it right now and the fish are being real finicky. So what I do a lot of times, what I did today, I'll back off my leader size. So we're gonna go to the bottom. I took the 80 pound leader off of there and I, I replaced it with some of this 50 pound uh, super floral. And we're gonna drop that down and that will often make the difference. So let's drop some lead on them. See if anybody's home. Right now, we're in 155 feet of water. I'm fishing a 130 gram lead jig. As a rule of thumb, uh, you, a loose rule of thumb, you wanna fish one gram per foot of water. So 150 feet of water, you'll fish a 150 gram jig. Now, that's gonna vary depending on, uh, a lot on, on wind and current. So if you're in a higher current, you're gonna wanna fish a heavier jig just to make sure you can get down to your spot before you drift off of it. I'm a big believer in actually hitting the bottom when you can with a jig. Uh, one, I think that a lot of those fish that are down there feeding, they're feeding on little shrimp and bait fish that are, they're, 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 they're scrounging on the bottom. They're feeding down there like a pig. So if I'm up 10 feet in the water column, slow pitch jigging, sometimes I'm too far up above where my target fish are looking for bait. So I like to stay right on the bottom, but I also believe that hitting the bottom every time, you know, that generates kind of a sonic, you know, uh, uh, noise or, or vibration down there that's going to draw attention to this jig. So a lot of times I'll come up one, two, three cranks, go all the way back, let it hit the bottom, dance it right, right off the bottom a few times. Ah, that is a spotted rose snapper. Ese es el parco manchado que llamamos. Nosotros decimos lunarejo, parco lunarejo acá. Okay. Yeah. Manchado, llamamos. Sí. I'll tell you another technique that's really effective, and it's funny because it's not much different than what I do with the hard baits. You gotta, we're fishing for snapper a lot down there. You gotta stop the jig just like you gotta stop that hard bait. So I'll, I'll get a pull up and I'll just stop at the apex. And that jig flutters up and it just sits there for a second. And then I release. And a lot of times they'll hit it on that pause. And the way I figured that out was I used to be jigging and I'd get to the top and I'd open my bail and my jig wouldn't sink. That's because I had a fish on and I just opened my bail too quick. So now I've learned that when you get to the top there, give them a second, give them a chance to eat. It's especially important when I'm jigging, I like to use um, a, a multicolored braid. And Yozuri has that now in their line of, of super braid. And what it is, it, it change, your braid changes color, very distinct colors, about every 10, 10 meters, 10 yards, somewhere thereabouts. What that does, it gives you tactile feedback on how deep you're fishing. Like I know we're in 150 feet of water, so I can actually count the colors coming off there. It's gonna change every 30 feet. So if this stops, if this jig stops before, before 150 feet of line has come off, before five color changes, I know a fish has it in its mouth get a lot of feedback from, from fishing this five color braid. That multicolor braid is also really helpful when you're trolling and you can drop a line out the back and you know exactly how much line you got out. You know, you want to fish a 30 yard line back to your, your lure. It's very simple. You have boom, 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 three colors. You got 30 yards out. Dropping jigs is always a fun way to, to catch different species at different depths. Uh, be sure and look for your Yozuri Super Braid in the new five color to give you tactile feedback on your, uh, for your jigging. You can find that at your favorite local or online retailer.